goes really, really fast. <laughs> Four-year-old Callum Watt has good days. <laughs> he has problems with um, socially engaging with us and with his brother. He just only nominally relates to us. Callum was diagnosed with autism at the age of two. His parents, Rana and Ethan, say they knew something was wrong very early on. Around. 15 to 18 months, he just kind of was in his own world, and we would try to say his name, and he, we just couldn't snap him out of it. The diagnosis came after a trip to Children's Hospital, and it marked a dark time for the family. You show me how you're an acrobat, Kel. It's not just something that, that you can fix. It's very overwhelming mm. to have a special needs child. It really is, because, because there's the constant worry of, of not doing enough. Yeah, I guess that's our biggest worry. That worry is funneled into determination. What does the tiger say? Roar. To bring Callum out of his shell. The Watts say they found long waiting lists for local therapies and ended up driving to Centerville from Arcanum five times a week for help. He is it's definitely connected. Now a therapist comes to their home nearly every day. There they can focus on his daily behaviors, his special diet. It's January. And his school like therapy called ABA. But the Watts want to add another opportunity for Callum to grow. It's called Sunrise Therapy and it's more play based. To implement it, the Watts would have to make trips to Massachusetts to learn how to do it themselves. Sunrise, of course, was a little cost prohibitive for us in, in the past because, you know, we didn't have, you know, around three or four thousand just to. Um, spend for the actual seminar. But their Arcanum neighbors have stepped up, donating the money Rana needs to make the trip. We've had an overwhelming response from the community so far and um, friends and family as well. Now they just need the funds to send Ethan. All the way they have dreams of enrolling Callum in public school and watching him thrive. What's that say? Pink. 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 Good. Of course it's, it's a lot of paperwork and it's very overwhelming but you are your own advocate mm -hmm. when it comes to your child. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, let's put up our dates. Rana plans to travel to Massachusetts for a sunrise seminar in April. There's also a quilt auction in the works for Ethan's trip, and we'll keep you posted on that as we learn more. I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News, working for you.